Today I wanted to show you guys the most Bubba thing I've ever done, which I actually did to this Mauser rifle. However, before we get to that, I asked you guys what the most Bubba thing that you've ever done was on Instagram and YouTube. So let's look at those. Using electrical tape to attach a $1 Harbor Freight flashlight to your Mossberg 500. Zip tying an old Russian two-point sling to your rifle along with the flashlight. Chopping up a perfectly good carry handle to make it better. Cutting a slot out of the receiver of a Springfield 1903A1 so that you could use your homemade Pedersen device with it. Putting a Monstrum Picatinny rail on a 1980s Marlin 22 so that you could attach a Romeo 5 to it. Tassitronin claims that he bought it this way, but I don't know about that. It's an SKS with a poorly dremeled bolt, and it was all matching numbers before someone threw a Tapco stock on it. You said, why does anybody need a full auto? Now, this isn't necessarily in Bubba territory, more FUD territory, but we'll let it slide this once. Bubbaing an SKS to make a polymer AK. Another viewer actually sent in a picture of theirs. It Doesn't this just hurt to look at? Putting together an AR with a Bushmaster lower that had a faulty hole that houses the spring to put the tension on the rear takedown pin. He used a nail wrapped in duct tape to hold the gun together. Frank put a Glock recoil spring and a SIG P220, and apparently it ran fine. Removing a staked castle nut with a pair of channel locks and a towel. One of you sent in this Bubba to Arasaka that apparently your grandpa bought this way. Dremeling the barrel extension pin slot on an AR-15 upper so that you can make a canted front sight block work. Then shimming it with a piece of soda can to make it line up properly. That's dedication. Super gluing a piece of Velcro onto your 22 stock. Buying an SKS with an ATI. Using a cigarette butt to shim the barrel band in place on a rifle. You know, if it works, it works. All right, finally to when I was Bubba. This is a Yugoslavian Mauser, and if you know anything about the Yugoslavian Mausers, the action is just a little bit shorter than other Mauser rifles. So that means the firing pin and the firing pin spring are both supposed to be shorter. Someone, before the guy that I bought this rifle from, had put a K98 firing pin and firing pin spring into this rifle. So when you opened the bolt, it would work properly, and then when you fired it, you actually had to pull the cocking piece back manually, and then it would fire one more shot. Not knowing this, I had broken the firing pin upon disassembly, so I did end up buying a new firing pin. However, the firing pin spring was just a little bit too long. So, being the bubba that I am, I went and got my Dremel and cut it down a little bit. Let me show you. To remove the Mauser bolt, we need the striker back, then I'll put the safety in the upward position. Pull the bolt out, and we're gonna press this pin in. Move the bolt body. There's the firing pin and firing pin spring. One side effect of this is that this spring is terrible to take off. So we're gonna put it in my little homemade block. Push it down, rotate it 90 degrees, and then lift it up. All right, here is what that is supposed to look like. You see how it's nice and flush and is rounded off right there. And here is the other side where I bubba it. You can see how it's not flush, not round, and just is cut off and kind of sharp. I hope this video wasn't too torturous for you, but either way, I'll have another video out on Wednesday. However, your question for the next Surplus Arms is, what gun content do you think is missing from YouTube? All right, bye guys, and hope you can find some 9mm ammo.